Hi, me Cookie Monster, and me so excited because me going to share with you one of me favorite stories. Yeah, it called Love Monster and the Last Chocolate by Rachel Bright. Yeah, it's about a little monster and a box of chocolates. Nom, 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 nom. This right up me alley. Okay, here go. <clears throat> this monster, hello, love monster, was just getting back from his holiday. And although it was a little bit exciting to be home, he was sad to leave his adventures behind him. But wait, what was this? A box of chocolates just sitting there waiting to be found. Love Monster couldn't believe it. You see, everybody knows that monsters seriously love chocolates, especially this monster. His mouth started to water just thinking about what might be inside. Perhaps there'd be a peanut butter cruncher or even an extra fizz banger sherbet. Or maybe, just maybe, a double chocolate strawberry swirl. Love Monster's absolute favorite. But then he had a thought that he just couldn't unthink. Hmm. He should probably share the chocolates with his friends. But what if there weren't enough? Or what if someone took the one he wanted the most? Oh. Or worst of all, what if the only one left for him was the coffee one? Yeah, yeah. Everybody knows that monsters hate the coffee one. Especially this monster. Yeah. Yuck. Well, I'm sorry to tell you that after thinking all of these thoughts, Love Monster decided it would be safer and kinder and better for everyone if he kept the chocolates just for himself. <laughs> so he went into his house and so did the box of chocolates without a whisper of a word to anyone. Love Monster couldn't wait. Oh, how his mouth watered. But just as he went to lift the lid, he had sort of a queasy, squeezy feeling in his heart. It was the feeling a monster gets when he knows he's about to do something he shouldn't. And before you could say, pass me the truffle surprise, he burst out the house and ran as fast as his toes would carry him to find his friends. And when he did, in a very uh, out of breath uh, and a bit shouty voice, he said, I got back from my holiday and I found some chocolates and I was going to keep them all to myself. But then I realized I wanted to share them with you and I don't even want a single one. Well, maybe one. And do you know what his friend said? Silly monster, just open the box. <laughs> to Love Monster, we missed you so much. We saved you our last chocolate, your favorite, because you're our favorite monster. Mwah! You see, sometimes it's when you stop to think of others that you start to find out just how much they think of you. Oh boy, that terrific story. That's so inspiring. You know what? Me going to go share me last box of cookies with all me friends. Yeah, okay, bye-bye. Oh, me go this way. These are the shakes. Oh, they sleep. Oh, I like some of them for the shapes. I went for the shapes well, so let's read the back. Make a shapes! <laughs> Good 
Look, shapes, have fun. Oh, hey, ah, yeah. I am a circle.